Welcome, Phoenix High School, to the first PHTV newscast of the year. I'm Daniel Kelly. And I'm Riley Nichols. And we, along with many others, will be bringing the news and updates regarding the events here at PHS to you every Monday for the rest of the year. That's right, Daniel. We'll be covering everything from academics to special events and cafeteria specials to our sports team scores. You'll also see student-created video segments ranging from the highly informative to the highly hilarious. We'll be bringing all of this and more directly to your faces. But before we jump into our announcements, we'd like to welcome everybody back from a great summer vacation and hope you all kick off an amazing year. Speaking of which, a kickball event will be held this Thursday in Colderfield Park from 5 to 7 p.m. It's an all-clubs event sponsored by the PHS Theater Department, so feel free to come by and participate in this friendly competition to start off the school year. Also, be sure to wear neon. Since this is an all-club event, DECA members should check this out. If you're interested in DECA, Phoenix High School's marketing club, they will be having their first meeting in Mr. Carvalho's room, N208, on Wednesday at 1229. Also, remember that Pioneer Cemetery that is across from uh, Rose Street is not a public area or a park by any means. Please be respectful and do not loiter around the cemetery. If you're found to be smoking, loitering, leaving trash, or using loud and vulgar language in this area, our right to use this area as a pathway across could end. Speaking of being respectful, the crew at the Deli at Rays would like to thank our students for being so polite and respectful during the lunch break in their store. Keep it up, Pirates. Also, if you're interested in joining cross country, you must speak to Coach Cornette quickly. The season is going to end soon, and so is the deadline for signing up. Speak with Mr. Cornette in room N207 if you are interested. Also in room N207 is a mandatory meeting coming up on Thursday for all National Honor Society members. Next Monday, they are, uh, there are mediation trainings being held in the same spot. All students are welcome to join. Also, coming to PHS this fall is a mid <laughs> a Midsummer's <laughs> Night Dream. Uh, this production will be a 90-minute version of Shakespeare's comedy, but set in the 1980s. That's right, nerds, punk rockers, and Madonna wannabes. An audition workshop to answer all your questions will be had, held Thursday, September 16th at 3.45 in the theater. Uh, the auditions will be the following day, Wednesday, September 17th at 3.45 once again. Auditions are open to all PHS students. If you're interested in being a school board representative, for the Phoenix High School School District, are you interested in serving a leadership capacity? Help, hoping to change the school in a positive way? If, you, if so, please notify Ms. Hale once notified. She will provide you with an application. You can notify her by sending her a personal note and giving it to the front office. Uh, last year, Phoenix High School offered for the first time ever a robotics, robotics competition club. This year, we hope to expand this club and create even more opportunities for students. Even if you know nothing about robotics, you are still invited to be a part of this great club. Robotics will be meeting this Tuesday and Wednesday at lunch in room N206, as well as after school on the same days. Speaking of after school involvement, if you could not fit into the yearbook uh, uh, class in your schedule this semester, but still want to be a part of the 2014-2015 yearbook staff, there will be a meeting after school in room S305, Ms. Singleton's room, on Wednesday for all of those that want to be involved with yearbook. See Mr. Rhodes for more information. Next, we have a segment coming up that talks about appropriate computer use and rules. This will tell you what you can and can't do with school's network and how to avoid the consequences of misusing school computers. All right, let's go ahead and roll it. Hey guys, it's time to learn about some computer responsibility. We can't have a bunch of people running around on the network if they don't know the rules. The network has been established for a limited educational purpose. What does this mean? It means the network isn't a public access service or public forum. So there's no commercial purposes you can use this for. Oh, and no political lobbying either. Although I don't think you guys will be doing that. Don't ever post personal stuff about you on the internet. And don't meet up with someone you met on the internet either. That should be obvious. Oh, and if you get an inappropriate message that makes you feel uncomfortable, tell your teacher. Please remember not to get into the network, and don't delete data on purpose, that's just mean. And using the internet for illegal purposes? I don't think so. You're responsible for your individual account. Not everyone is a nice person who logs you out every time. Tell your teacher if you found any security problems, and don't spread viruses. Bear with me, this is a long one. Inappropriate language. Don't use it. It's a bad idea. It can count towards harassment, damage, and overall obscene language. 
No personally attacking people. No harassments. This means you will not knowingly or recklessly post false or defamatory messages about people or organizations. Privacy is important, so don't repost or send a message that someone sent you privately without their permission, and don't post personal information. Don't download large files, and use the computer for educational purposes only. No plagiarism, guys. It's a form of stealing. Don't access inappropriate materials such as dangerous acts, violence, discriminatory things, and closeless things. <coughs> Tell your teacher immediately if you access any of that stuff. You have free speech, that's pretty great, but you still have to follow the rules of speech. And having free speech doesn't mean you can say whatever you want. You have to understand, computers have the same rules as lockers. That means search and seizure. The people will go into your computer and find all that horrid content you have in there. Well, that's pretty much all the rules you could break, so we covered it. Now that you've been informed, if you break one of these rules, you're doomed. What's up with the blue hair? I don't this... know. I don't know. He just does that sometimes. I mean, I think at some point it was black, but uh, then, or maybe it was red. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> um, next up, we have a uh, all the scores from the past week in sports <laughs> from our pirate teams. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, our football team got the 2014 season off to a great start on the road this past Friday night in Brookings. They defeated Brookings Harbor High School by a score of 45 to 6. Uh, they will debut at home this Friday night at Junction, oh, against Junction City at 7 p.m. Be sure to come and cheer on our Pirates to victory. Also starting off the th uh, 2014 season with a victory was our volleyball team. Our Lady Pirates volleyball team traveled to Eagle Point last Thursday, defeating the Eagles by a score of three matches to one. They will be playing tomorrow at home against Ashland before traveling to Cascade Christian on Thursday. Be sure to come out tomorrow and cheer on our Lady Pirates volleyball team. If you're looking for more opportunities to cheer on our Pirates athletic programs, come to U.S. Cellular Fields tomorrow to see... Oh, at 4 to see the 2014 season debut of our boys' soccer team. They will be taking on St. Mary's to start their season. They will be traveling to Brookings on Saturday in their second game of the season. Speaking of starting the soccer season, our ladies' pirate soccer team our Lady Pirates soccer team will make their season debut tomorrow at Crater High School. The game starts at 7 p.m. Our Lady Pirates soccer team will make their home debut Saturday against Brookings Harbor High School at 2 p.m. at Culver Field. Uh, meanwhile, our boys and girls cross-country squads started the season this past Friday, uh, Friday night, competing at the Marist in, uh, Invitational in Junction City. Our girls team uh, placed third in the 11-team event, led by Navina DeLuca, who finished fifth of 104 runners. Emma Amundsen placed ninth individually, and uh, Danielle Yonser was 13th. Our boys squad finished in sixth place, led by Randy Mana. Uh, who finished fourth out of 134 runners. Great start to the season of cross country. So with all those athletes burning calories, they will need to get some good food to eat. This week's breakfast specials are breakfast stacks on Tuesday, pizza wheels on Wednesday, breakfast on a stick on Thursday, and cinnamon rolls on Friday. Meanwhile, our lunch specials are pirate bowls today, sloppy joes on Tuesday, uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup on Wednesday, turkey gravy and mashed potatoes on Thursday, and spaghetti and meat sauce with salad on Friday. One last note. This, uh, the last day for schedule changes are this Friday. Coincidentally, that is the day for the last day for the October SATs. Get your schedule changes before this Friday or forever hold your peace. If you are uh, taking the SATs, head to the College Corner and sign up for SAT prep classes at SOU. These classes will begin on September 16th. And that just about wraps up our show for this week, but there's one final thing we have to do. Daniel, you're not talking about- Oh, but I am. It's trivia time. Every week, we end our show with a quick question to make sure you paid attention. If you write down your name, advisor, and answer on a piece of paper, turn it into the folder on Mr. Rhodes' room door, uh, N206, then you'll be entered to win fabulous prizes. Usually they're gift cards for lunch at Subway or Phoenix Bento. Uh, but the possibilities are endless! <laughs> this week's question is, what segment at the end of PHTV asks you a question about the show? Turn in your answers to the folder on Mr. Rhodes' door once again, room N206, with your name and advisor to be eligible to win. That's about it for this week. Be sure to stick around at the end for the Pledge of Allegiance, 
But as always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.